Hey friends, it's Thursday. You know, I'm really feeling like Viv in that I spend way more time on Thursdays than I do on Mondays. Viv, just because you asked, I'll let you know the nicknames I chose for you guys. Because there are four of you, and because I wanted to do something different and something unexpected, I decided to randomly give each one of you the nickname Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Lala, and Poe. Andy, that was a great call with Serenity. I'm actually really jealous that you got to be there for that really epic time. I only got into the series a couple years back, way after the movie was already out. But it's better late than never, I suppose. Sam, I have a candy cane too. That is because my Christmas card from Viv came on Monday. Thank you, Viv. Adam, I'm sorry to tell you, but you flipping that dime on your wrist was really, really creepy. Also, I had a snowstorm too. I hope you love them as much as I do. They really make the entire area just beautiful. I'm sorry, but I'm sure I had more comments to make after watching each of your more recent videos. I just can't remember them right now. I really should start writing them down. This week, again, poor Viv had to come up with the theme and the challenge. I'm sorry, Viv. I'll come up with something for next week, and it will be up on the forums really soon. Our theme this week is our favorite places to hang out online, and links to each of these places can be found down in my pants. I visit tfury.com every day because they have a new t-shirt every day and each one only sells for 24 hours. The shirts are only $9 American plus shipping because they only sell for 24 hours so they know exactly how many to print so there's never any excess. A lot of the time the shirts are just meh, but every once in a while they really hit the nail on the head and come up with something that I just can't live without. Seriously, my t-shirt collection is way more awesome because of this website. As the four of you might have noticed, I also spend an awful lot of time on Facebook. I don't feel like I post on it all too often, but I really like to keep up with people and I really like to comment. Honestly, I feel like I comment on every single thing that Andy posts on her Facebook. I check Post Secret religiously, and by that I mean I'm there each and every Sunday. Sometimes the secrets are really sad, and sometimes they're really funny, but I always find that they're really, really touching. They tell me that I'm not alone, and they remind me that we're all individuals and we all have our own stories. Honestly, I feel like the secrets are a snapshot of humanity. Like Adam, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. Finally, I check our Five Forum Friends Forum daily. That is a tongue twister. Five Forum Friends Forum, Five Forum Friends Forum, Five Forum Friends Forum. <laughs> I do that because I am finding this project so much fun. I am enjoying it so much, I don't want to miss a thing. Our challenge this week, Viv phrased as skills, talents, or hobbies. So I thought I would pwn all your butts with my hobby of collecting Harry Potter everything. But then everybody else did talents, of which I don't really have any, so I figured I would show you the main thing that I do really well. Is this real or is this not real? I can't tell how I'm supposed to feel. What can I say? I am a fairly dull person. I don't have any hidden talents, but I was finishing up The Hobbit last night, not for the first time, and I realized that reading is a skill. Also, I want to show you guys the collection of books that I have behind me. 
I couldn't actually get them all into frame without it looking really awkward, so here is a picture of them. Collecting books is one of my main hobbies, and I'm actually really proud of the collection that I've gathered together, and that's why I use it as my backdrop from week to week. My silver lining of this week is that I got a new bed! You may or may not have noticed in that clip that my old Gryffindor bed is gone. It's been replaced by a giant, super comfy, king-size bed, and I have been sleeping so well. Life is good. Honestly, that's all I can think of that I have to say. So until next time, keep each other safe, keep faith, good night. And Andy, I'll see you tomorrow.